Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are taking on the Razor Cats. Because they have flawless Archeotech. And we had the flawless Archeotech, and that was what made us special. But they have flawless Archeotech now. So we need to have twice as much flawless Archeotech, and they need to have none. They need to have none Archeotech. That's the plan. But we are the Carrion Queens, and we shall carry on. Yeah. So, let's do it. I hope I've done everything. I hope I'm prepared. Uh, okay, it seems everyone, everyone is going for them, which is hilarious. I guess the underhive dogs thought the razor cats might be um, an easier target than us, because uh, I'm pretty sure in the rankings it goes queen, dog, cat. So you know they're sort of punching below their weight. Uh, although the razor cats do have more more stuff than the underhive dogs, but the underhive dogs might actually uh, manage to grab um, the the architect. So. That could be interesting. If I was writing a... This is a sort of a, a sitcom. This is how I would do it. Okay. I'd have the underhive dogs come in. You know, from the underhive and... Yeah, nab the architect out from under us. But anyway. Um, hopefully, that won't happen. Hopefully, we'll get it. So, switchyard roof. Let's do this. Here we are. That's really cool. That thing up there. Whatever the hell that is. Just hang in there, all the lights. It's very cool. Might be a might be a Christmas tree. Who knows? All right. So, excavation zones. Well extracted. Yeah. Sorry, guys. It's rather late as I'm recording this at the moment. Um. So where are? <laughs> Where's everyone going to go? Also, this is annoying that everything is barricaded over here, and all the zip lines are in the middle of the base. That sucks. That really sucks. God, this is really well laid out. Uh, when I when I played a HQ Siege before, it was real easy because there were a bunch of zip lines that went directly into their base. Not this time. Not this time. Uh, yeah, this could be real rough. But luckily we packed a bunch of grenades so we can't shoot that down. Although actually, just our machine gunner. Having her go first, we can blast one of these and start pouring in. So it's really about where are we going to pour in. Um, I might go... Oh no, can't go down there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure now. I'm second guessing. I'm second guessing myself. Let's go up here. I think. I hate that there's two extraction points. Can I just say that? Like opposite ends. Because what I'd love to do is just let the cats and dogs fight. And then we can just hide somewhere. That would be great. That would be lovely. That would be real wonderful. Also, hang on a minute. Is the architect not in here? It looks like they've only got 90 points if you look at the top left. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, I can't zoom the camera up and down. Alright, you know what? Let's just set up up here. We can always jump down. Where are the dogs going? Okay, opposite end. Brilliant. And wait, hang on a minute. What? Oh, that's up in the tower. Okay. I was very confused for a second there. I thought they deployed outside of their base, which would have been very silly. <laughs> but, you know, that's how they want to play this. Fine. Um, yeah, let's just get everyone here. We're going to just keep trying to shoot that guy up in the tower. Try and take them down early. Which hopefully will work. Hopefully. We will see. I mean, we do have um, that ludicrous Gatling move now. That we can just, you know, shoot all day. So maybe that's how we can uh, we can take out one of these sort of watchmen quickly. Who knows? Right, how am I going to do this? Oh, I hate it. Oh, are they deployed already? I think they might be. Oh, interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, in that case, uh, I might just, yeah, I might just start. Oh, actually, uh, oh, can you use your abilities on people? Can you give attack orders to people if they haven't spawned yet? I don't know. All right, we're gonna put in Wallavu. We're gonna put in her first, and we'll see if these guys can indeed be shot. Are you kidding me? Three crits? F 
Flippin' heck. That sucks. You piece of shite, you. Okay, that really sucks. I am very angry at that. You may have noticed. Uh, we can only shoot once. So I'll try and double tap, I suppose. We'll try and double tap. Uh, aim for the head. It serves him right. And we got the crit. Yeah. How do you like me now? How do you like me now? Yeah. Not so fun, is it, Norksy? Jerk. Ass. Anyway, right. So, you got a nice cover there. Ten the turn. God, they're the bloody critical hits. Jerks. Alright, so it's a dog's turn. It's Madrid's turn, so he could do anything. Who knows? He could end up anywhere. Really, really no telling what he's going to do. Never any way to tell. Okay, he's marked a target. That's new. You haven't seen him do that before. And marked another target. And that's where he's ending his turn. Okay, that seemed quite useful, actually. Now, what are you doing? It's being very shouty, Kryra. And now you're exhausted. <laughs> Fair enough. The enemy are coming. Rah! I'm tired now. Nice one. Nice one, girl. You did great. Uh, okay, so... We're going to try and finish them off and also destroy a barricade in one move. Okay, that's the plan. And amazingly, we're crushing it. So, um... Is that the barricade I'm going to go for? Maybe... Yes. Probably that one, because the other one I can't seem to see. So yes, I think we'll be shooting that. But, first, we're going to shoot them. So, offensive... Gatling Frenzy. One and two. And uh, then uh, three. Invalid target type. Oh, alright, fine. Be that way. Jerk. Out of range, apparently. Uh, I suppose you can reach them. Or her. Now, I don't really want to use Gatling Frenzy. I think I just want to shoot them. And be done with it. So, I mean, this should kill, right? It'd be weird if it didn't. Okay, good. There goes Norxy. The jammy sod. Hater. <laughs> anyway, frag grenade. Uh, do I want to start hitting that now? I mean, kinda. Sort of do. Sort of do. Maybe I want to skirt the edges first. I can break in at any time. Oh. Oh, wow. And that's actually the other barricade. Well, that's convenient. Alright, let's just kneel. And end the turn. Let's we'll keep her out of sight. Aura of precision. Okay. And are you going to start shooting the enemy? No. Oh, yeah, maybe. Not a great angle. Like, a pretty terrible angle, to be honest. But that's okay. Maybe. Possibly. Select a fighter. Let's go with... You know, having having a one with a flamethrower, I don't think that's very useful, actually, in this sort of situation. This is why we need to recruit some more people. Because, you know, attacking a place like this, it would probably be a lot better if we had a lot more dead eyes. So we could just, and machine guns, so we could just sit along the edges and, you know, chip away at people before moving in. And we'd have more people that could smash down barricades, because right now I think we only have the one. Uh, well, only one that can do it with their gun. Everyone's got grenades, but still. Uh, alright, you, I guess, because someone's got to move. Alright, they're going to go first. So where are they going to go? Because I think, yeah, it's not a saw that they've got, that is a, that is a nail gun. That's attached to their servo arm. Blind snake pouch. Okay, fine. Yeah, you do that. That's fine. And they're going to loiter, I guess. They're going to ambush. No one is going to be ambushed from them. They just aren't. You could at least done that by a wall or something. You're just going to get shot now, you idiot. Which I guess I'm cool with, to be honest. But still. Um, so there is someone over there. That I can start running towards. Okay, and get to there. So that person has swords. 
They have swords. Not sure I like that much. And there's someone up there that might be able to shoot at me, which I don't like. But if I move here... No, I can't. It'll teleport me away. So I have to be where they can probably shoot me. Ugh. Yeah, I've got nowhere to be, honestly. I've got absolutely nowhere to be here. So you, uh, kneel. That'll do. Because, yeah, I really do have nowhere to be here. I need to start seeing numbers get whittled down. I'm not going to do what I did last time and run in, be there first, and then get sandwiched. Because that really sucked. Alright. You done? They're done. Select a fighter. Um, God, I don't know her, I guess. And, um... You know what? We can call the lift. <laughs> Let's do that. And can everyone get on the lift? Is that a thing? Everybody get on the lift. Oh, good. That's nice. Okay, now what are you going to do? I really want to get revenge on MD. Because that, that sledgehammer... I do not have fond memories of that. Okay, some wild snake. So, one thing that I'm concerned about is, like I said at the start of this, whenever, uh, well, I say whenever, I've only done one, but when I've done an HQ attack mission like this, I've been able to zipline into the base. And it seems like the AI is struggling with the fact that there isn't a way to get into the base currently. Which makes me wonder, if I destroy an area with grenades, are they all just going to start going for that one entrance? Because it seems they don't understand how barricades work. Or, somehow just don't have the means to destroy them. I don't know. It's a bit weird. So, I don't know. I really have no idea. Not a clue. So, tell you what. Let's blow this up. Because if they all start running for it, I can just... Yeah, get them in an overwatch trap, basically. So, let's do it. That might destroy it in one. Brilliant. Good stuff. Now you can kneel down there. Perfect. Now let's see what they do. Because they might actually start trying to get into the base now. Although these guys are on trajectory right for me. So they might be running directly at me. Or they actually still might be going for that breach. I really don't know. Okay, they're trying to ambush. So I think, yeah, we'll just gun them down. So that's nice. We'll just gun them down. Suits me. Oh, are you going to take some shots at our enemies? Nope, still shouting. Still shouting. More shouting. Okay. I don't know what that ability was. Because I can't see the text above her to say what the ability is. That was entrenched. And that is Overwatch. I think. Okay. And now you're kneeling. Good. I saw that one. Well, that was exciting. Um. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna use the machine guns and ready going first, which means we will have uh, at least the one turn shooting that one person. So what are you doing, Manred? You're jumping down. That's fine by me. Are you gonna be able to get in, or are you just gonna you're just gonna entrench there? That you're calling it a day there, Manred. Of course you are. Oh, he's tired. Oh, Manred, you silly. You're silly, man, Red. Also, the uh, mission I did before, it was actually uh, really rather nice. It had zip lines that went into the um, sort of compound of the HQ. And there was actually a tunnel to escape in the middle of the HQ. So you could just zip line in, grab stuff, and leave. <laughs> Pretty much all in one go. Which was very generous. This one, though, yeah, it's actually a fortress. I don't know what dictates that. Really don't. I mean, it might be about what um, uh, what stuff you pick, what four buildings you pick, or something. Who knows? Oh yeah, I'm sure somebody knows, but I don't. That's kind of what I'm getting at. So uh, let's shoot this person. But like a lot. Let's just like all the shoot them. A lot of evasion. Okay, that seems quite good. Only half their health gone, though. That is surprising. 
Uh, wait, you can't reload? Or unjam, or whatever the hell you want to do? Looks like has offensive something. Uh, this might destroy the bridge. Oh, no, it won't. But that would be pretty funny if we could stop them from getting to us at all. Uh, field repair. That'll be it. That's why we couldn't do it. Cost 15. And how much is the grenade? 20. I'm actually very tempted. I'm very tempted to blow the bridge. I think that'd be really fun. <laughs> I think that'd be a really nice way to stop them from coming for us. They basically have to use uh, either that ludicrously long pier. Oh, actually, that's cut off. That's outside the map. That's outside the map. So, yeah, they'd have to use the um, the lift. That's the only way they could get to us. Which would be quite funny. Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna blow the bridge. I think it'd be cool. It'd be cool to do that. And they might just die, so that's good. Let's find out. Awesome. Alright, let's go with... Yeah, let's go with you. I think actually we could just shoot that person, but the fact that the bridge would be damaged uh, means we can block the path of someone afterwards, which would be very useful. If anyone did come for us. So, double tap sounds quite good. Wow, this really messes up bridges, huh? Makes it very hard to tell how much damage we'd actually do to that woman. So, um... How much health has she got? 70. Yeah, we can't do 70. But we might be able to if we can double tap and happen to get a crit. Well, if we happen to get a crit, she'll be dead anyway. But, still. We got a crit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, what's next? Let's see who else wants a piece. Can anyone have a piece? Nobody can have a piece. Everyone is too far away. So I'm not going to put all of you in, in, at risk. So she's going to go back to where she started. Good girl. Uh, let's do the attack order for um, terrain. Because she actually has brilliant range with that thing. And let's also give her planning. So one thing that is nice is... What I might be able to do next turn, actually, is use... Um, her ability to get up to that tower. You know, we can use our grappling hook. But for now, just killing someone is, is good enough for me. And giving someone else a bunch of extra abilities so they can get some more killing done. But yeah, being able to get into the compound with a grappling hook would be jolly handy. Alright, what are you do doing, Lurker Alex Zane? Curse you, Alex Zane. Shouldn't you be on E4 or something? Alright, another ambush. Yeah, the AI just doesn't really know how to get in, do they? They're not really sure what to do. Which I think is quite sweet. Because the idea of a bunch of, like, bloodthirsty gang members turning up to assault the enemy's base and then just sort of hanging out, outside, shouting, is just very, like, you know... <laughs> it's just very sweet. It just reminds you of a bunch of gangs on the estate, you know? Well, they're just, you know, not really gangs. Like you see in the movies. But certainly more realistic. Alright, select a fighter. Uh, no, you select a fighter. Oh, okay, fine, I'll select one. So, none of these girls really have anything to do. Which is a problem. Um, so let's see what we can do. If we can get in here. So, so they still have a couple of people up here. And a couple of people on that side. They're just in a shouting match. Um... God, I, I just hate that there's not even, like... I mean, yes, there's a zipline that goes from there to there that isn't linked. But there's not even one that we can get linked up somewhere. So, it's kind of silly. We really can only go through this way. Oh, and then that's barricaded. So we have to then go around? I think we can go in under there, maybe. So, yeah. There's just barricades everywhere. Hey, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. So, alright, you... I think we'll go next. So you stand up. Let's let's get these girls down here. Good stuff. Right. Now let's move in. 
person might have Overwatch, but... I want to go this way around, actually. Yeah, this way around's probably better. Yeah, so now I can get in here. That scared the crap out of me. You might have noticed by my cursor doing this. <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay, uh... I think... Here... Might be a good spot for an ambush. They might be able to come in through that door, though. And they might. They might come in through that door. Though, um... I could just grab some stuff and get out, like, straight away. I think we'll get everyone in first. I think we'll get everyone in first. So that's ambush. Good stuff. So we got in, you know. We can get in now. It's fairly easy to get in, but I also want to do some damage to them, because if I end up uh, just annoying them all, if they all decide, oh, someone's in our base and all come for me, um, that guy's not going to last long. So it's about trying to find find a place we can go in and then get the jump on them. That's really the important bit. But the fact that they're still happy just to stand up there shouting means that this should be an easy ride for us. They don't seem keen to jump off those towers. They want to keep the high ground. Which is a good thing, you know, for them. But not great if they want to actually keep hold of any of their belongings. And now there's another machine gunner on their way. Are they going to do anything? No, not really. But, I mean, they are approaching. If this guy actually decides to attack a barricade, they could get in there and do some work. But no, it looks like he's just sort of hiding. Which is quite sweet. <laughs> Bless him. Now, he's the leader, but he's all talk. He sort of goes up there and tells everyone else, Yeah, yeah you should attack. See, look, look, I've touched. I touched the fence. I rang the doorbell. You should come in, because I rang the doorbell. It's very cute. Uh, okay, they're entrenching. You're gonna, you're gonna shout some more too? Yep, yeah. She's tired though, she's tired. She's tired from all the shouting. This is ridiculous, guys. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, well, I love it. Okay. Uh, so you don't really need uh, more AP, so... What? Because I want you to jump there. So you can jump over there. Saves us a little bit of MP. Not much, but a little bit. Um, so you can only grab the one thing. So let's see what's in here. So in the courtyard, there's just that. There's a couple of boxes opposite. But most of the items are on this side. There's a couple more up there. There's a dispenser in here too for healing, which is good. But yeah, it seems like uh, the zip line's up here. We might be able to get up there and deal with those, but... I think we could probably just take everything here out from under their nose. So, I could even start a train here. So I'll grab that. So you can see from the resources on the top left, uh, we've taken five resources from them. So now... Let's drop those parts. I know, now they're back up to 90, but, you know, it is what it is. And please tell me that people can walk past you. I really hope people can walk past you. <laughs> Otherwise, that did not work out so well. Anyway, so someone else can go and grab that. Someone else who's sort of useless, you know? Someone else who doesn't have a gun, basically. It really is only the people with guns that are doing anything in this, uh, in this match. Because that's the thing, we can sort of avoid conflict in this particular level. And guns are better at avoiding conflict. I know, very weird sentence to say. <laughs> very strange. But uh, in this case, you can whittle down the few people that end up in combat without having to, you know, get in range of everybody. So. But if I run someone with melee right up there, you know, into one of these towers, then suddenly they're all going to be shooting at them, so... That's the problem. That's the problem. Okay, so, uh, yeah, just jump down straight away. That's perfect. Yippee! Good job, lass. Alright, so, rear. It's gonna move up. No, obviously don't jump that way. 
save a tiny, tiny bit of movement. And can I get past? Yes, I can. Let's keep piling stuff up. Hilarious. So I'll grab that. Good. I mean, can I grab something else while I'm here? Maybe. This doesn't seem to be using any movement. Because the verticality is a little strange. Oh my god. Is that... Is that the Archaeotech? I think that was the Archaeotech. And alright, jump out, jump off there. Perfect. And there's barricades all on that side, so nothing can really bother us. Which is uh, sort of great. Is that a person? No. No. And yeah, that was totally the Archaeotech, so we found it. <laughs> That's amazing. That rocks. We've already found the Archaeotech, which gives us such a ludicrous advantage. Uh, and now it starts again. Okay, let's go with... Yeah, let's go with um, Steely McSteelface, uh, Rovatrix here. I'm not sure we even need to make a train, you know, of goods. I don't think we even need to. I think we're just going to abscond with everything. We don't even need to come back for stuff. It's just, yeah, we'll just run in and grab everything and we're done. So, now if I look, we've got one thing still on the floor above, or one thing down in the corner, and then two more objects. Okay. In that case, let's grab this thing first. Cool. Love it. Big fan. And then... Upstairs. And we'll grab this thing. Awesome. And then we'll jump down. So one thing I've been wondering, actually. Um, though I'm pretty sure I checked, actually. Ooh. Did I check? I think I checked. I think that's why it's in my mind. Um, so the extraction zones, you can't just dump resources into it. You actually have to leave with the resources, which is sort of annoying, if I'm honest. But uh, I get it. I get it. You know, it's it's a trade. You're trading the ability to murder people and stop them from, you know, those people to run off with resources or get the resources for yourself. So it's, it's a good trade, but still. Okay, so what are you doing? You don't really know, do you? And they're running... They're moving away from us again. By the looks of it. Yeah, so we don't have to worry again. Yeah, it looks like this gang isn't going to get in. They might be here all day. Just the blue team and the red team. The dogs and cats just <laughs> sat on opposite sides of the garden fence. Barking and meowing at each other. With all the confidence in the world while we just run off with all of their toys, which is hilarious. So, um, and we steal all the kibble. All the kibble shall be ours. All your kibble are belong to us. But yeah, this is ridiculous, frankly. This is ridiculous. Uh, so you can only carry one thing, which sort of sucks. You're already carrying two, but I can have you drop these and run in again. Because, uh, we can just have, uh, Wallavu jump down and grab a couple of these. So, um... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. So we'll see what the uh, d the dogs do. It's Manred. Classic Manred. Classic Manred move. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at him going for a walk. I mean, if anyone was going to break the stalemate, it'd be Manred, who just gets Wonderlust all the time. <laughs> it's always Manred. Oh, I'll check that out. He's right by the barricade. That's interesting. Although I think we can... Nope, he's confused. Like, he knows he can get through there. He knows he can do it. He just has to do something first. You know? Because he knows that's a road. He knows that's a path. He knows stairs go to places. He knows this. Aim shot. Wow. How the hell do you have line of sight against her? That is insane. So is that Overwatch? I really can't tell. He's kneeling, but he's invisible. So, I mean, anything could be happening right now. Uh, well, okay. Do I want to set him on fire? 
I mean, yeah. Of course I do. Um, so they're still not able to get in from that way. So yeah, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to dump this stuff here. Okay, so tactical. Let's drop that. Only costs 3 AP to drop a casket. Uh, oh, I really don't want to drop the architect, but it is what it is. So let's drop all that. There's a mine there. And there. Managed to avoid him last time. Okay, and he was in Overwatch stance. Okay, so that was all very frustrating. And I don't have anything equipped yet. Okay, let's... Wait, what? What on earth? Oh my god, I just realised. In our last battle, she got downed and her body got looted. She doesn't have any weapons. No wonder she looks so sassy. Alright, you know what? I guess after all that expert maneuvering, your your job is um, to carry things. That's embarrassing. So uh, what did we do with that turn? We took some damage and dropped one thing. It's pretty great. Pretty great. Although the fact that we didn't notice that we got... Um, <laughs> the fact we didn't notice we'd been robbed. We just turned up. Where's your weapon, girl? Where's your weapon? What weapon? A flamethrower you had. Oh, right, yeah, that got nicked. Oh, okay, great. You could have told us before we drove here. Flippin' egg. Select a fighter. I'd love to. I'd love to. Um, yeah, let's go with you. You're going to have to sort out your weapon jamming, though. And then we'll um, take out Manrin. Because it's tradition. Although, he did survive in the last one. He did survive in the last one. Because we couldn't risk going up the stairs. Bloody architect, guys. It's it's expensive. Well. Do another ambushing. Cool. You're going to ambush so many people over there. I kind of wish she'd get closer so we can kill her. Because I want revenge. She stole my flamethrower. Uh, stand up. Get up. Stand up. Shoot Mad Red in the eyes. Uh, field repair on yourself, please. She just always wants to help other people. It's really commendable. But uh, also quite annoying. And she still has 50. She still has 50 uh, AP. So this is just a bad day for Mad Red. This is a very bad day for Mad Red. Although, my god, he is somehow avoiding a lot of that damage. Wow. Yeah, he just resisted, like, all that damage. I'm really not sure how. Anyway, let's entrench. Whoa, what is it good for? Whoa, absolutely nothing. And you got the least amount of AP possible. Well, that was fun. Nice one. It's great. Uh, although her las gun is a bit knackered, so actually... This field repair is jolly handy. So there you go. Awesome. Uh, and that'll do. That'll do. Okay, now, what are you doing? You're going to stand up, shout a bit, and sit down again, aren't you? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, they're actually coming for us. They're actually annoyed that we're nicking all their stuff. Or are they going for the other team? Oh no, they're coming for us. There we are. Hey. Ow. Stop that. Well, this is going to hurt. Ooh, I don't like that much. I think we can get her though. We'll just drop everything and start blasting. Uh, also, actually, Manrid can live a bit. I'll leave Manrid, Manrid live. Because we're going to blast her face off. Because we get some nice bonuses from up here. Um, so, offensive. Let's do the double tap. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. That'll get us some more AP. So. Hits in the head. No armor. So, yeah. I think we've got to aim for a head. Critical chance. Only 8%. It's really sad. It's really sad, that. Oh, well. Let's see if we can get another shot in, anyway. 
Even if it's not a crit. Uh, ah, only 25. Oh no, shoots nice and cheap. Cool. Good stuff. So that's half dead. Half dead is... It's dead enough for now. Although I'm now concerned that Manrid over there is going to be able to climb that. But there's no one over here by the bridge, so actually... Running... Nope, we can barely run that way. It's just going to teleport me from the bridge, so I guess you're sitting here. Have fun. Still, I don't want, I don't want Manrid getting up the stairs and shooting us. That'd be very annoying. So, Damazor, what are you doing? You're jumping down too? Ah, oh, we've awoken the blue team and the red team. We have we have red team people shooting at us, and we have blue team people shooting at us. It's like I said, you know, if I destroy that barricade, are they all going to come for us? Apparently the answer is absolutely. Although, that's quite funny, that trap went off. They just set another one. Oh. Oh no, we shot the nade at us. That's so annoying. Ah, damn you with your dynamic mobility. Whatever the hell that means. So she's kneeling, but I don't think she can overwatch, so that's good. Okay, Lurker Alex Zane. What are you doing? I think I think they're I think she's like the other end of the map completely. I think. Let's have a look. So they're up there. Yeah, they're they're far away. Oh, actually, no, then, yeah, all right, fine. I see where they are. They've sort of caught up with their friends, but again, they're getting a bit preoccupied with the barricades again. As they do. As they do. And here we are. Cool. Uh, so, last fighter left. Let's see how you do. So, if I have a look, that's going to cost me how much to equip? 5 AP to equip. That's pretty good. Uh, it's 34 AP to attack for some reason. How weird. I think it's because of a skill our opponent's got, so... So let's do that. And we're going to have to attack with both hands here. 34 AP. Should do some good damage, though. Cause some bleed. But right now, this person's in the way of the door. And... Excellent. Excellent. Good stuff. I love it. And now, with our extra movement... Perfect. This person's completely pinned. I don't think they can get out of this. I don't think they can get out of that. So that's good. So they're going to have to punch us. Which is not going to be as effective. And now it's the start of the turn again. Uh, so I can have... Yeah, I can probably get rid of Manrid. I could probably kill Manrid from here. Which would help us tremendously. So yeah, let's go with uh, Wallavu. Before everyone else starts setting up overwatches. And weird amount of AP you've got there, girl. Weird amount of AP. So, double tap is nice and cheap. Heroic Barrage. I can shoot him three times. Should I just shoot him three times? It's hard to say no to that, isn't it? Uh, sadly, I can't get line of sight on that other person. Or reach them. It's okay. I just shoot him three times. Hey, Manrid. Bye, Manrid. We're out of ammo. That was handy. That we got him off to two, because we only had two. Okay, that's in trench. And can you reload? No. How do you reload? Oh, now you can. That was weird. It wasn't giving me those tactical options. Uh, yeah, reload. Oh, it's because they do cost AP. Okay, never mind. I'm silly. I was thinking it cost MP for some reason. For some weird reason. Uh, let's give the attack order to you. I don't think we really need to, actually. In that case... I could just climb up here. I don't know how I'd get down, though. <laughs> so that's one issue with that, I guess. But uh, that would be quite handy to be up there, I think. Let's do that at the start of another turn, I think. Let's uh, Let's give you an attack order. And yeah, you can shoot down the barricade to the left so people can get out quicker. I think that's probably a good shout. Because the yeah, the evac is just there. So that makes sense, I think. Right. You can loiter. You're gonna shoot you're gonna shout at some people, aren't you, Kryra? Is that what you're gonna do? Oh nope, she's moving. God damn it, don't move. Stand there and shout at people. I liked it when you guys stood there and shouted. That's good. 
Entrenched means they've wasted all their movement. And now they're tied. Good. Good stuff. Okay, what next? Select a fighter. Uh, I mean, you're selected. And you're a fighter. But first, I think we need to wail on this person before they get up and start trying to punch me. And then I need to steal their flamethrower. So yeah, we need to take this one down so that our flamethrower lass can get a flamethrower back. Because this might actually be it. So. Uh, that seems a waste. <laughs> Let's strike. Oh, hell yeah. Double crit. That is perfect. That was less perfect, but still. God damn. We are wrecking her. Okay, so we could do left hand, or we could do right hand. Insufficient action points for both hands, though. So this does more damage, better critical chance, so let's do it. Oh my god. Three out of four crits. And we just got a task done. Well, that was disgusting. I couldn't be happier. Uh, so, let's pick this up, shall we? We can't. I need more AP. Never mind, then. Let's, uh... Rob this person. <laughs> That'll do. <gasps> chainsword. Hell yeah. Put it backpack. We got a chainsword, guys. We got a chainsword. We did it. We just had to let the chainsword come to us. That was that was always what we needed to do. Also, that sword doesn't look like a normal sword. Or is it? Maybe that is just a normal sword. Because there are just normal swords. As well as the chainswords. Though. The idea of hitting someone with a with a, <laughs> with a chainsaw is just stupid. Like you don't hit things with chainsaws. That's not that's not the point. It's like trying to. It's like, it's like swinging a bread knife. It's just not how it's done. All right, where are they going? Oh, I don't like that much. He's like she's coming to try and nope nope hiding in a different, a different place entirely. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, <gasps> Razor El Nabla is uh, is planning. Okay, she is coming down here, so presumably she is coming for us. But she's taking a hell of a way around. Do you even still have any AP left? I guess you must. Maybe not? I really don't know. Nope. What? What is happening? And now now she's in range. Like, we can see her with our, with our guns. We can just shoot her in the head now. Like, what are you doing? It's just bizarre. Yeah, we can just have we can just have uh, terrain here. Just fire at her. We can just shoot the snot out of her. Also, I would like to get my flamethrower back, but no, no, we're going to shoot the snot out of her first. I was going to destroy the barricade, but that'll have to wait. First, I need to destroy this woman's face. Uh, so yeah, you can you can hit her with the Gatling frenzy. I really do like the Gatling frenzy, although. Why is it switching between 100% and 92% again? Can you just stay on 100%? Huh. 